Hi, Jerry Ware, District Governor 6780, and today we have with us Leanne Teaster. Leanne, we're going to have an Interact Conference here in Pigeon Forge on March the 6th through the 8th. How many people do we have registered? We have close to 500 with a, uh, representing about 35 of our clubs. That's great, but now last year we had over 600. Are you expecting more? I am. I'm expecting a few more to get registered, yes. <laughs> well, what I would like to ask is that every, every club that has an Interact, they get their clubs registered so they can come to our Interact Conference March the 6th through the 8th. What do we plan to do during the Interact Club? On Friday, we'll meet and then go directly to Dixie Stampede for a great evening. We'll come back and we have a little surprise. Uh, it's still in the planning stages, uh, not ready to reveal that yet. Okay. Saturday, we'll have a great day. We have uh, returning Officer Do Donnie Mashburn to spend the morning with us, and we have our scholarship competition Saturday night. We have our banquet and our great talent show, which wish we could sell tickets to that to benefit polio, but... And Sunday morning we'll have a great speaker and then head back to do our service in our communities and around the world. Sounds like a great conference. And it's going to be held right here in this beautiful hotel, the Holiday Inn of Pigeon Forge, right downtown Pigeon Forge. So if you have an Interact Club and they've not registered, it's still time. Contact Leanne because we'd like to see you here at Pigeon Forge for the Interact Conference March 6th through the 8th. Thank you. Thank you. March is a busy month. On March 19th through the 22nd, we'll be sending our presidents-elect for training to Nashville. They'll be at the Music, uh, Music City Sheridan in downtown Nashville. All presidents-elect are expected to be there to be trained for the upcoming year. That's always a special event for, for the presidents to get them started on planning for their next year and the year of service as president of, the, of your local Rotary Club. We hope to see each and every one of you there at that conference. On March the 28th, we'll be having our annual four-way speech contest. That will be held at Tennessee Tech University in Cookville. We would encourage every club to conduct a speech contest on the four-way test. This instills the true meaning of what Rotary is all about, and it gives a, a, a student the ability to show off their talents by writing a speech and giving it to a group of people the winners of those, those uh, contests will be given scholarships for college. It's very important. So any student in any high school, public or private, in Tennessee are eligible. But each club must conduct a, a contest to choose a, a person to represent their club. We will be sending those applications and out, you, each president of the clubs will be receiving that information shortly. I hope that every club has a representative at that contest at Tennessee Tech. We're excited this year because this year will be the first year that we've conducted a Rotaract conference. This conference will be held in, at Tennessee Tech University also in Cookville and all the uh, clubs are invited to send uh, participants to that conference which will be held April the 18th. You need to contact Dr. Teresa Ennis for reservation and information. Every Rotaract member should be willing or wanting to come to see what other Rotaractors are doing around our district. This is a good time to share, to get good ideas, and to just have a good time and know what our district's doing in Rotaract. April 24th through the 26th will be the District 6780 District Conference Celebration. We're so excited about the, the upcoming conference. We hope that every club will have a representative here to see and celebrate what our district has done during the year. We're gonna have many fun activities, uh, lots of entertainment. Matter of fact, we have one of our entertainers here now, uh, Tim Keller. Tim is a musician and he's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and what, he, what you can expect from him. Well, I've been uh, performing professionally as a singer and guitarist since I was 16 years old. Uh, I still love to perform. I've also been a member of the Pigeon Forge Rotary Club for 26 years now. So I love Rotary, I love to perform, and I'll, I'll get to combine them both during this uh, conference. And uh, 
the kind of music I play is easy listening, light rock, adult contemporary, little country rock, just a great little uh, mood music I think most people enjoy, and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to get to hear you before lunch, before meals, at, at dinner, and so we, we look forward to that, that entertainment. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is important that each club comes to celebrate what we've done this last year. We've got great accomplishments and we want to share those. We want to share the ideas that you have and the successful programs you, that you've conducted. We're going to concentrate on the, our district and global grants and all that they're, we're doing here in this district and around the world. We're also going to highlight our youth because the future of Rotary depends on developing the youth for future generations and that sense of giving back to the community and sharing with others. I'm so excited about this conference. I hope that you'll be excited too. Uh, this year we're going to offer some special things. First of all, we'd encourage you to bring your family. We would like to have the young adults to come. Any children of Rotarians who are attending the conference can attend the conference without paying any registration fee. If they attend uh, banquets or meals, they will pay for their meals, or if they choose not to, that's fine. We will also have free daycare for any, any children from the ages of 5 through 14 at the local Boys and Girls Club, which is just above the, hill, above the Holiday Inn on the hill. So it's close by. They will take care of your children while you attend the conference during those hours. On Sunday morning, we're going to have a special breakfast at Dollywood. With that breakfast, we're going to offer you a, a day pass so after our meeting, which will be a short breakfast and celebration and award for literacy for an outstanding uh, citizen who's performed for our district and the world, you will be able to attend the shows at Dollywood. If after that event you would like to get a season pass, you can take your pass that we give you and take it to the box office at Dollywood and they will give you, at, or sell you I say, a season pass for $33.70. Those passes usually run $99.90, so it's a big savings, and we're going to have lots of fun for breakfast too, so please attend the breakfast on Sunday morning. We're so proud of what Rotary International has accomplished with its campaign to eradicate polio, but the job is not finished. We think that we've seen the last case in Africa that's a tremendous accomplishment. Only time will tell, but we have not had a case in Africa for the last four months. So the indications are we may have eliminated the polio virus in Africa. That leaves two other countries left to eradicate. But we still have to do the worldwide campaign to immunize young children against this horrible disease. At district conference, we'll be having items for sale the, la the rifle, a nice teddy bear, sweatshirts, all of these items will be sold by Brenda Thornburg in the hospitality suite. So we hope that you go by and purchase one of these items or make bids at the silent auction. All the funds during that time will go to ending polio now and forever. The biggest fundraiser for polio besides our annual contributions from clubs, comes from our golf tournament. Our golf tournament will be held May the 29th at the Willow Creek Golf Club in Knoxville. It's being sponsored by the Knoxville Breakfast and the Farragut Rotary Clubs. We're very excited about them continuing this year to do the golf tournament again. Dan Hipsher will be the person in charge. You can register for that, that golf tournament with him information will be on your screen. It's exciting that we can make a big dent in the polio if we all participate. I am challenging every club to either sponsor a team. A team of four is 400 bucks. Or if you don't have a team to participate, then I'm asking those clubs that don't send teams to, to buy a hole and sponsor a hole at $350. This money will go to save lives and eradicate polio. We are so close. Let's get this job done. Thank you very much. I appreciate all that you've done with polio, and I'm sure that Dan will be waiting for your application, either to submit a team from your club or to buy 
a, a hole and sponsor a hole. Those sponsors will receive name recognition at the hole and also participate in the goodie bag op opportunities. Thank you. Thank you.